Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for August the 10th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, a Phase 3 study of Eli Lilly's abema cyclib in certain patients with breast cancer will continue as the interim efficacy criteria were not met. The trial is evaluating abema cyclib plus fulvestrant versus placebo with fulvestrant in women with hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, locally advanced or metastatic breast cancer. Richard Gaynor, Senior Vice President of Product Development and Medical Affairs for Lilly Oncology, noted we had stringent criteria set for this interim analysis. Gaynor added we look forward to receiving the final results in the first half of 2017. In other news, Biogen's haemophilia-focused standalone company will be named BioVerative when it launches early next year. John Cox, who will be CEO of the spin-off, remarked that BioVerative will be uniquely positioned to drive progress and advance the standard of care for people living with haemophilia. In addition, Myland's second quarter revenue rose 8% to $2.6 billion, boosted by higher sales of generic and specialty drug products. CEO Heather Bresch said this solid performance yet again underscores the strategic value of Myland's diversification and scale. And finally, Apple is reportedly planning to unveil a new product that accurately collects users' heart rate, pulse, blood glucose changes and other information. Sources suggested that the company's health-focused development team have been developing the product for more than two years with a proposed 2017 launch. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 